So today we're in a field here of uh, Dairyland Farms here. This is a triticale field. And uh, what Larry has been doing here, and he's been attempting to plant uh, more, more forage grasses here through the winter months. Um, so in this case here, Larry seeded this, uh, it, was, it was over 100 pounds to the acre. And you know, we're gonna have some pretty good yield potential in here. Uh, the triticale in this field here was up to my shoulder. So uh, tonnage wise, you know, we're probably gonna be anywhere from three to five ton of uh, forage out here in this particular case. So with this year, with all the winter kill of alfalfa and the lack of forage, um, Larry's gonna be a little bit ahead of the eight ball here because he's gonna gain some forage here right off the bat that we potentially didn't have uh, moving into 2019. So what Larry will do here is they'll harvest this, uh, put it on a pile, and ultimately uh, they'll come in here and they'll no-till corn into this thing. Now when you're, when you're going from a uh, triticale into corn, you wanna make sure that we're on top of our nitrogen uh, recommendations here. So you wanna be on the higher side, you know, beyond 40 pounds of nitrogen here right off the bat, preferably around 60. Uh, we're trying to break down a lot of this carbon, a lot of the roots here that are in the triticale and uh, get that corn off to a nice start. So as you can see, uh, we've got, after the corn silage harvest here, we've got great carrying capacity. And that's really because of the soil structure. We didn't uh, destroy the soil structure here by tilling the soil. So uh, as many producers have seen here this fall, we've had uh, a lot of cases, we've been ripping up these fields really bad here with, with the harvest of corn silage here. In this case, you can see what we've got going on here. We don't have a lot of that ripping going on here because of that soil structure. It's 